about you, Jose, but I'm a fan of tabletop games where you get to be social, everyone's sitting in a room, and then when you're playing it online, everything is automated for you, and you might be missing that social aspect, but it's definitely a key component in playing a tabletop type of game. And that's what Armello is about. You're playing like a virtual board game. It's with anthropomorphic animals, and the whole point of it is to well, win the game, and there's like, several different win conditions. But what did you think? Like, how did, how did you enjoy it? I do like the fact that there are uh, different win conditions, like you mentioned, you can go through and you can just outrot the king, which if you, <laughs> if you want to try that, yes, go ahead, can. which is very dangerous. Or you can try to purify the king by collecting all four spirit stones throughout the map. Which try I tried to do, it takes a long time. It does, but the last game I played, I played with three other people. I was able to like gather the stones, but then getting into the castle is a tricky business. Oh yeah, because, it gets thrown out every single time. Because the minions are not there to mess around. They will stop you at all costs, and they are, they are strong too. And they have a dice roll mechanic when you're into these fights, which sometimes you can win, sometimes you can't. You can burn some of the cards because they have cards in this game. Yeah. We'll either give you spells or items, or you can do some trickery because he doesn't love a little bit of trickery. The game is surprisingly deep because it has a lot of things to keep track of. There is a really great intro to the game. It comes with a little story. Yeah. But trying to figure out what all the cards mean, it requires a lot of reading. The font's really, really tiny. So when you're playing on the PS4, it's literally this big. You need to go all the way right up to the TV to figure out what's going on. And you have to read it because that's when you find out all the little nuances to the game because I was just burning cards using whatever I could use. Without a really care, hard. Yeah, right? without a care. I was like, oh, I'll just see how this works. This has the icon of the thing I need. I'll just yeah, go ahead and burn it. it. Wait, that gave me what? I really think the strength of the game is playing with other people. It's four players. It's Definitely. on a... Other people who also have no idea what the <laughs> font says. Because they show you the cards and you get it for a second. And for the brief instant where you get the card, the font's decent size. You can look at it. But then going back and trying to read what it says, and you bring it up into the screen, it's ten times smaller than it was. And you're, you're like, I, wait, what? I have plus four, minus, give me some rot. Ah, I don't care, whatever. Let's use it. Yeah, it was originally on the PC, Steam Early Access, and now the full version's out on PS4, so it, it may have been designed for here right up against that monitor. Mm -hmm. But the art style's great, I really like it, and it had a really cute story to kind of get you going. Mm -hmm. I mean, the story doesn't really matter once you get into the multiplayer aspect of the game. It's really just about no backstabbing friends. your friends. Yeah, no friends whatsoever. No. Take out the king, Absolutely. or your friends. Pretty much. So yeah, yeah you have to play your friends. Um, otherwise, yeah, just take on the computer, and they're not very nice. No. Nice you can either play mean computer or mean friends. I mean, either way, it sets you up for, you know, just a mean game. Yeah, mean. Yeah. So did you like it? What did you give it? I did. I had a good time playing Armel. I'm giving it a 7.5 out of 10. I'm also giving it a 7.5.